Captain's log. Final entry. Spock and I are the sole survivors. Enterprise, are you there? Morning, Wendy. Good morning, Scotty. Can we go over your everyday schedule? Wake up, go to work. Welcome to Cinnabon. Would you like a Cinnabon? How's your script coming? I just wrote a story where Spock travels to Deep Space Nine. That sounds awesome. 3 p.m., take Pete for a walk. 6 p.m., watch Star Trek before I go to bed. Send in your script highlighting the best of the Star Trek universe. Next week, your sister's coming. There's a Star Trek script writing contest. We can go to the post office, and then I can go home with you. Can you please tell Audrey that I'm ready to go home now? Please stand by. <gasps> Breathe. Your completed script must be received by February 16th. Where are you going? Los Angeles. <laughs> Bus driver, my friend needs to pee. Don't do it, Pete! This is what happens when you pee on the bus. Me and my boyfriend, we're actually going down to LA. Maybe you should just come with us. She's five foot four, blonde. That's her. Hey! I know he's the hero of Star Wars, but who exactly is this Kirk person? She's out there, alone. She's a very resourceful girl. Give it to me! Give me my notebook back! Where am I? You're at the hospital, you hit your head. She jumped out the window! How did she get away from you people? Nadeb Yohorsh. Nadeb Yohorsh. What language is that? It's Klingon. Your sister is one of the most complex and creative people I know. People have their own lives, and after a while, those lives don't include you. Captain, there is only one logical direction in which to go forward. Light. It can travel for millions of years before finally reaching its destination. Do you know how hard it is to write something because the story you want to tell means so much to you? It goes lonely and alone, hoping that it will reach someone. That's amazing. So what happens next? The unknown is there for us to conquer, not to fear. What was Leonard McCoy's daughter's name? Joanna. Oh, snap! Pay off!